Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Green Zero back here with another Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. I have another game here for you today. Can't wait to VOD this one because it's got some very good players and of course Unleashed UA, the ever-present Unleashed UA on my channel of course is in this game against Master Leaf. That's right, it's super duper Leaf, fresh from his 2v2 victory. We'll be watching this game here on Torment Rift. Nashington was observing but it's not live so... We're going to jump in and see how it goes. Don't forget about the Command League. Make sure you sign up for that one there, of course. Plenty of tournament action to come. But, uh, yeah, let's check out what's happening here. Unleashed UA on the left-hand side here. Did I get it right? Is he that? He is going to be vanilla GDI. Is he the right color? Yes, he is. He's vanilla GDI. He goes for two engineers. Uh, meanwhile, Leaf on the other side is green, and he's going to be black hand. He's got two scouts coming down the guts. Uh, Unleashed won't like that. But he didn't go for the bottom spikes, which is interesting. Now... I'm not 100% sure if this is a mirror or, or a random mirror or what the deal is just because uh, I got this uh, from the players, not the replay system, so I didn't actually have time to check out any stats on it. So I don't know what happens, I don't know how long it is, I don't know what's what's going to go down, but apparently it's a good game. Uh, Unleash, of course, pulling back his units there so he will not be losing them to the uh, the Confessor Cabal squads, which are now spreading out. It looks like, that's interesting, Leaf actually pulls one back over here, so... I'm not sure what he's trying to do there. Maybe he is a random mirror and he thinks he's up against buzzers because I don't think he, he even really caught a glimpse of Unleashed. Did he? he may not have actually caught a glimpse of him. Unleashed will be taking uh, one of these spikes, which is very nice. He runs straight across the Tiberian field. That's never healthy for you. Uh, meanwhile, he's going to flame rush uh, Unleashed, which is uh, unusual. Normally, uh, Unleashed is the one doing the flame rushing. But uh, Unleashed does go for a standard econ economic build there. He's got the second harvester out. The refinery is coming down. Uh, it's going to be that fast reckoner. And look at this interesting, just a single black hand. Now, they're not uh, that powerful. Obviously, it can do some damage. But uh, Leaf was paid to do this uh, rush uh, quite a few months ago, saying it was unstoppable. And then it turns out that just one pit bull can stop it. So it kind of sunk that. But Leaf says a lot of things. <laughs> and of course, it is a very powerful strategy if you have double flame in it and you can get it at the end of the base. But he's actually going to put a Gabal squad in there. Um, just for the extra DPS, because why the hell not? Uh, meanwhile, there's a pit bull down here. It is actually coming back up to base. He must be aware of it. Yeah, there's actually an APC here. Oh, will he get the minefield down? Oh, man, he doesn't want to drive over mines. There is a Predator tank here. He's taking a decent amount of damage, and he will get to the war factory, but a lot of damage on that Reckoner. And again, there's only one flame unit in there. A second Predator tank comes out. Yeah, he's going to be able to clean this up. He's not going to lose the war factory, so Leaf isn't going to be looking forward to that. He does bail out the infantry units, but of course, now they're vulnerable to getting shot up and crushed. Probably didn't even need the tower. The Predator the tanks could probably just crush them. Uh, is he actually going to lose a power plant? No, no, the crush is too heavy here. There is a tower and an APC there, and they will clean it up. Unleashed did build a fair bit to counter that. There's three Predator tanks and APC, and the pit bull was for scouting. He did draft a tower as well. Puts down an extra power plant. Doesn't actually need it, uh, because he doesn't have the, 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 what do you call it, the tower anymore. But he is on uh, four harvesters. Let's have a look and see what Leaf is up to. Leaf is on five harvesters, so there you go. Uh, he's actually a little bit ahead, and he did go straight back for an operation center, so... Uh, maybe we're going to see uh, some flame tanks or something along those lines. Unleashed now splitting up, spreading out the scouts, drafting towers. Always important to do because you can't see a lot of the map. Leaf can't see a lot either. Leaf is actually going to go straight for another Reckoner. Uh, wow, this is really interesting. He's going to put rockets in the Reckoner. I mean, you, you do see rocket Reckoner strategy, strategies used, but yeah, that, I was going to say, there's usually a couple of Reckoners because Reckoners aren't that expensive. They're only uh, $900, I believe, uh, so they're not... They're not really that uh, that expensive at all. If we check it out, uh, a lot of people don't realize that, that they are not uh, not that pricey. Putting extra engineers in this one, engineer in that one as well. Not sure if that was supposed to go there. The people will spot this. Will Unleash be able to respond? Uh, Masterly responds, drops out the rocket squads, should be able to take care of that pit bull, but no doubt Unleash is aware of that now. He will lose his pit bull scout, so he knows there's Reckoners driving around still. The other Reckoner is over here. Hey, he's not going to be too pleased to find the fact that this spike is very well guarded, so he's not actually going to get that, and he has to make his getaway really quick. Quickly. So, Master Leaf doing some pretty crazy Unleash strategies right now. Normally, it's uh, Unleash that's doing these, but he's trying to defend it out, and he's playing pretty stock standard, to be honest. Uh, he does put down the tower, so obviously 100% aware what very well may be in there. Obviously, he, he knows it's probably not flame because the flame ones would have just rushed straight in. He does get the deploy there. He does actually cut that Reckoner off. That Predator tank will be actually trying to escape. He wouldn't want to lose that. That would be pretty bad to lose to that Reckoner. And he does have to bail out. The other one may actually go down. Battle markers over here as well. It looks like Predator tanks did make it to the bottom side of the map. They should start shooting at these uh, bikes because they're getting shut up. Unleash can't control everything. Meanwhile, he's got the one caught in the bottom map. There's so much going on that both players can't actually control it. Meanwhile, there's another Reckoner over here. There's so many Reckoners and things going on over here. 
here. Looks like that Predator tank didn't actually go down. Meanwhile, over here, these Predators will go down. They do a bit of damage to the uh, the MCV, but far out. So much was happening, and there was about four separate individual engagements there, and neither player actually managed to micro any of those uh, very good. I mean, one or two of those battles was good from both sides, but you can't really blame. Leaf does back out. He did actually take both the spikes, even with the garrison there, so that's nice. Unleash does have a uh, ref down here. AP ammo is on the way. A few units moving through the middle of the map. He doesn't want to be in range of those Predator tanks because they are superior. Of course, there's actually five now here, so there's two more coming down. Uh, Harvester is coming down to take some blue type here. I'm not sure if some is missing. Maybe Leaf took a swing at it. Not 100% sure. Uh, bikes coming down here. A Predator tank for some reason. Two Predator tanks are going down the bottom. They really needed to be together though because now that they're one by one, the bikes can actually focus them. Will he get one more shell off? No, he will not get an extra shell off there, but those bikes now are reasonably damaged. He will pop that garrison before making his way over. The Predator tanks here are trying to rally back, but to be honest, they're just so slow. They, they've got no chance of catching that. He might as well put down more towers. AP ammo is just about to finish, which is just as well because the towers now will actually be able to destroy the bikes relatively quickly. Uh, there's two towers in range, a third tower over here, but uh, leave decides no no I'm not actually going to go in there uh, but these Predator tanks are actually closing them, pinning them to the side of the map, and Marsleaf hasn't realized it yet. He's going to have to try to get out of there. He, I think he thought he must have been safe there, but oh man, Unleash gets the clean up there, and he will put down all of those bikes. No tanks go down either, which is very nice. Uh, Marsleaf clearly pulled his bikes back and then left them there, believing they would be safe, but uh, Unleash did follow him. What's happening up here? We have Reckoners over here as well, and it looks like something was captured because Marsleaf has rifleman squads. I'm not 100% sure what he did manage to capture there, but uh, it probably wasn't anything too important. It might have been just a power plant because I'm pretty sure there was one there. I think he really just captured it just because his uh, engineers were getting killed. He had no other option. Is calling some V-35s for his engineers here, trying to go and get the spikes back. Probably needs to rally his forces here. Uh, that Reckoner was already deployed. That's just deployment animation. Meanwhile, it's happening over here. This Harvester goes back to the blue tip field. That was a mistake. Dozer Blades is done for Leap, and he has infantry. Wow, these guys are just like pocketing everything right now. Uh, bits and pieces of all kinds of unit combinations. We've got a beacon coming in here. It's going to be the Bloodhounds. That's going to help. There's Predator tanks moving down over here as well. And the Scorpions just like, yep, cool. Maybe we just won't engage those because they are actually a little bit more powerful than what we would like. One of the V-35s gets shot down, but it doesn't really matter because they dropped all of their uh, their units here. Uh, Unleash does actually just move in there, which he probably shouldn't have done. He probably should have focused, though. He is still going to push these tanks back relatively well. Meanwhile, Predator tanks are moving through the bottom of the map. A, a Raider buggy does get cleaned up down there. It might have been a flame tank, not 100% sure. But we have V-35s flying over the top. There's so much stuff happening in this game. We have an elite APC as well. A lot of those Scorpion tanks actually managed to to survive uh, and they will actually be able to kill the bloodhounds off battle markers over here as well it looks like a v35 trying to land an engineer but there's a buggy there as well so he's not going to be able to do that he's going to fly off though meanwhile these units moving over here these apcs uh somewhat getting shredded a little bit but the tanks do move away from them meanwhile these predator tanks are moving down here and leaf does not have a lot to defend this he's going to lose at least one harvest to guarantee the v35 did get shot down there's so much happening in this game i cannot believe it and he will get one harvester straight away can he get a second harvest a battle markers raging over here hammerheads are out which is not what the scorpion tanks want to see and only should be able to clean this up probably won't lose any more APCs, and he has got these Predator tanks in there, there's probably a few more dead harvesters, but I can't 100% see, he's trying to focus down those Scorpion tanks, uh, the rest of these guys going down, a uh, Reclamator hub goes down, and Marsleaf is just, oh man, I don't think it was a good idea, I mean, probably because uh, he, he felt the Scorpion tanks were going to die anyway, because of the Hammerheads, he might as well come in and try to destroy as many units, he gets another APC, but that's probably going to be his last kill for this area, he did use the other V-35s to take back the Spikes, which is very nice indeed, and I'd have to say, it's relatively even right now. Master Leaf does have an expansion on the third or the, the contested field, but uh, Unleash has tech and he has about the same size army as what Master Leaf has. Battle market down here. One of the Predator tanks was actually left behind. So, and there's actually beam cannons coming out. Not sure what he plans to do with the beam cannons. He is black hands, so he can't actually uh, upgrade his uh, his units there. That uh, that uh, harvester, he accidentally overlooks it. The hammerheads are trying to fly forward here now. They need to clean up that last rocket squad. They will do so. Getting it, killing a harvester, which is transferring. But I think the beam cannons are just to deal with the mob because if he gets a lot of them, Oh, Harvester does get uh, sniped off there, and he's going to try to take down another one, but the, both those tanks, look at the debris fly up into the air there and bounce around. You've got to admit the game's uh, graphics for its time are amazing. Uh, and look at that. He's, he takes down more Harvesters. Leave here, not really regrouping very well at all. He has got this mill expansion. He's got a handful of beam cannons, probably not enough to take on the Marv, which is making its way through the middle of the map. APCs, zone troopers in the in the Marv, and what's happening down here? Master Leaf selling up there. He's looking pretty hurt down in the bottom field, so... He's even got Tib over here he could be using. Hammerheads do rush in now. Hammerheads do rush in, and they're sniping down beam cannons. Oh, man, this is not good for Master. If he puts down a Sam turret, but the Hammerheads can tank uh, tank that, that Sam turret pretty well. There's actually another one over here. 
It's good coverage. More beam cannons going down, unfortunately. He still has a, a large number of these beams floating around, though, doesn't he? And he's trying to focus down APCs now. He's trying to clear the area. That, the, to be honest, the, the Scorpion tank should be able to handle that just fine. And he's got one, two, three, four, five, six. He's got seven beams combined there. And seven beams is starting to chip away at the health. You can see that he knocks off about 15% of the health of that Marv. And Unleash decides it's probably not a good idea to get in there just because by the time he gets in range, he'll probably have last, lost over half of his health and it could be getting pretty bad for him. Meanwhile, infantry standing in Tiberium, which is never healthy for you. Unleashed does hold both spikes. Was he taking blue tip? He may have been taking it. Yeah, this harvest is going back there now, so he was obviously collecting some of it. He could do a massive recycle of his base here. A lot of towers he can sell, extra refs he can sell. He needs to get these Tiberium crystals harvested as well. And he needs to work on that. Zone troopers in the hammerheads. Wow, he's got a lot of hammerheads here. Leaf is in a little bit of trouble. He needs to fortify himself. Now, he does have double ref here, which is good, which means he can build uh, the units he needs to. Four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got eight beam cannons. He seems pretty content with eight, yeah. Eight is probably a, a very nice bunch to actually hang on. Four, five, six, seven. He's got nine, sorry, so I, I can't count. But uh, it is a very nice number to deal with an epic unit. Uh, 10 would be probably appropriate. 12 would be getting a little bit beyond. But I mean, you've got to remember, some beam cannons will be destroyed in the ensuing battle. So you have to you have to take into account that some of these beam cannons are going to get destroyed and you need more to replace them. So having a little bit more than what you require is always helpful. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Okay, so yeah, it's got nine. There's actually one over there, so it is driving off. So uh, Unleash not making too much of a move. The Marv is moving around. It's three rail and one repair unit, and he is moving down towards Lee's field over here. Totally undefended. He will be able to crush that easily enough. The MCB is making a move as well. Uh, I think he's trying to go for this Tiberium just because he feels he can't go for this field. Uh, again, the beam cannons are obviously doubling as artillery, and they will be able to snipe down any attempt Unleash makes to move on this field. So... Uh, this is giving Leaf uh, plenty of opportunity to really bolster his forces. This is what Leaf needed in this game. He needed a little bit of cool time just to get his upgrades done, just to get his forces done. A few APCs uh, just chilling here will get taken down. Meanwhile, the Hammerheads, I believe, are moving through the middle. Yeah, there's a lot of Hammerheads here. That is a dangerous amount of Hammerheads. That Harvester, I'm not, not sure where he's going, but he's going to be destroyed. Oh, there's Zone Troopers in these as well. Oh my god, I don't know how many Zone Troopers he has, but it must be a lot because I can see at least four or five, maybe half dozen of these Hammerheads have Zone Troopers in. Oh man, this whole base has gone down from Leaf. He needs Tib Core and he needs it now he's gonna to have to build mantis he's got no choice he has no choice but to build mantis the marv is over here and leaf is now one basing it he is one basing it running over his own tiberian field and unleash just with one swoop takes down two of master leaf's bases and that is uh that is a critical hit for him these hammerheads need to come and clean up the rest of his infantry for the marv because the marv has a hard time against that uh, oh it will be flying off though not too fussed about that but yeah he's gonna to have to build mantis he doesn't have tier two. Oh my god he's got no power he is in a little bit of trouble here. I mean, he's got a lot of rocket squads. He's got a lot of rocket squads, but he is vulnerable to Kaidens. Even rocket squads in some of these. So half of them are filled with zones and half are filled with rocket squads. He's actually going to fight this here. Master Leaf not paying too much attention. There is a fight going on over here. He splits some of his army up to attack Unleashed, but he doesn't really have the double A he needs, and he's calling the beam cannons over. That's a mistake. He needs to get out of there. Some of those guys did get shot up, but oh man, that went very well for Unleashed. You can see a lot of hammerheads. He might want to get them repaired just because they're so heavily filled with infantry, a very expensive infantry as well. He might want to do something about that. Still a number of beam cannons remaining, enough to deal with the Marv. Unleash does have a secret base down here now, so he's starting to refine this Tiberium. Very good game since he knows there's Tib here, and he knows he needs to get it to, to stay in this game, because his main field is actually getting cleaned up. Uh, Master did actually manage to take that down. So, uh, unfortunately for Unleashed, uh, he will be losing. He's lost all build radius over here. Uh, it's just infantry standing on Tiberium. That's what the battle marker there is. He's lost all build radius. These power plants are probably going to die soon. The hammerheads could be responding, but no, they're, they're content to sit down here. There's another airfield. He actually needs two airfields. If you get a second airfield and put it side by side, you can repair the hammerheads faster because remember, there's only three drones per per airfield and he's got about uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He's got about 13 hammerheads and look at them. They're all still reasonably, like they all need repairs basically, but they're, they're, they're in reasonable health. Some of them are in the, the orange health, which is a little bit concerning, but but Master Leaf has a very large army here. He's replaced a lot of his rocket squads. He's got four Sam Taras. Is that going to be enough? Probably to, to just, you know, Unleash probably could go in and take it, but he'd lose so much it probably wouldn't be worth it. And he doesn't have a war factory, so there's no Mantis. Meanwhile, the beam cannons are over here, so the infantry are just going to cluster. Oh, no, the MCB. It does deploy, but there's so much infantry inside. These hammerheads, he's going to lose his build. Oh, my God, he lost his build. Oh, I can see what he was trying to do there. He's like, hey, i got tons of infantry. I can just cluster them around the beam cannons and then just walk around the map and win the game. But these hammerheads just snipe down the MCB. There is no war factory for Master Leaf. He has just two barracks. They need to be cranking. They need to be cranking endlessly. Meanwhile, Unleash is losing this base over here. Calls in sniper team, sells up. He's like, yep, cool, I need this money. And of course, you get units to help fight. Uh, those sniper teams are moving uh, yeah, they're moving over here. I was going to say they can't move too far away. 
Uh, but again, Sniper Team's not the best against Black Hand Infantry there. Obviously, if you've got nothing else, uh, you will definitely take them any day of the week, but uh, they will take a few extra rounds to kill uh, the Black Hand squad at the front. They will take two shots to kill the Disciple, which is the Black Hand unit themselves. Sells off his Tier 2. These towers are going to get overwhelmed momentarily. Marsley does have a lot of beam cannons, so he can deal with the Marv. He's got tons of infantry, and you can see he's just massing it out now. But I think he needs to wait. I mean... Oh, Unleash is building Shadow Tanks and APCs now, and he's got a ton of Hammerheads. He's still continuing to construct Hammerheads. His force is superior, I think. And Marsleaf now attacking in a small group, it's not its not advisable. He, I don't think he realizes there's a lot down here. I think he thinks it's just like, you know, the MCV, but then he realizes now that he sees the Shadow Tanks and he sees the Marm. He's like, hang on a second, this is probably going to be a bit more of a fight than I want it to be. And he is going to have to send... He's got a few Scorpion Tanks here. Uh, the Scorpion Tanks will die relatively quickly to the, uh, the Hammerheads here. He knows there's a lot of Hammerheads there. The Sniper teams are here. He could even put the Snipers in the Hammerheads if he wants to get really tricky, but I think he's going to send them forward. The Marv is going to get shot up a little bit here, but I don't think Leaf is going to move forward yet. The Beam Cannons are over here. They're pretty vulnerable. The Hammerheads see the gap, they see the gap, and one of them goes down straight away. But yeah, it's pretty intense, and he's got snipers now just continuing to diminish the force from range. You can see that those black hand squads will actually tank one shot from the snipers. And he's two beacon there that could be shockwave artillery, or it could be the uh, orca strike. I think it's going to be the orca strike. And here we go. Here's this big engagement, and the hammerheads are moving around the top as well, and they will be moving back a little bit here. I can't even get this whole thing in the in the in the entire screen. There's a lot of infantry here from Leaf, and he is actually doing a decent amount of damage here to these aircraft, and he does push them back. There you go. He is going to push the hammerheads back. Back. And that's a big win there. These APCs off to the left-hand side here. Leaf could actually come through with this game. He decoys it out. He's got a lot of beam cannons here. He has a lot of beam cannons here right now. And this is pretty much all that's happening on the map. So the beam cannons need to focus down the Marv. The Marv is trapped. The Marv is trapped. Oh my god, it's trapped next to the War Factory. He's starting to lose so much health. Oh, but he actually pulls back the Hammerheads. The Hammerheads are coming into flank. And all of a sudden, Master Leaf is in a little bit of trouble. He's completely surrounded here. He's got units up the front. The APCs are taking a lot of the damage. The, ha the Hammerheads at the back. Oh, there's too many beam cannons getting shot up. Too many beams getting destroyed. And Master Leaf, the sniper teams are still alive. And Master Leaf is getting crushed in this engagement. And I don't think you can hope to when he tries to snipe down the wall factory which is a good idea he believes maybe Mar maybe unleash doesn't have an mcv but unleash very well does have an mcv i don't even know where it is it's somewhere i don't even I think it's in the top right hand corner is that it up there it is in the top right hand corner so there you go insurance policy from unleash taking blue tiberium master leaf still continuing to fight in this game and oh man this game got really intense putting the sniper teams or the last of the sniper teams inside of these hammerheads we haven't got any more a few rifles few zones all kinds of stuff whatever infantry unleashed can find right now is going straight into the hammerheads just to bolster their power because why the hell not even rifleman squads putting them in hammerheads makes their anti-infantry ability so much better as well uh, another beacon comes in that orchestrate recharge is amazingly fast we only saw that used like a short time ago he does actually nail a beam cannon master can't replace these beam cannons now the marv is coming in i think he's going to lose the marv actually but uh, i think unleashed is uh, or sorry master is going to be content with this he's going to lose a decent amount of infantry he needs to actually kill the Marv uh, to make this cost effect because there's a lot of hammerheads here. Will he get the Marv? Oh my god, he gets the Marv just. He just gets it. There's actually a hero is that a heroic hammerhead or heroic rifles? It's going to be heroic rifles inside that hammerhead there, firing down, and now he's going to lose his power. And I think, oh no, he doesn't quite lose his power, but these two power plants are so vulnerable. Oh my god, and Master Leaf knows it. He throws it, and uh, well, <laughs> that all rhymes. So there you go. That game there, far out, that got pretty intense. Uh, I, was, I was thinking, how is, uh, how is Unleashed going to do this? And then, then I was thinking, how is Master Leaf going to do that? But some pretty big engagements there. Very tactical. You don't see Unleashed play that many tactical open engagements. He's normally a, I'm just going to kill you or throw all my units at you endlessly until you die and do crazy stuff. And Master Leaf is more of a tactician there. But uh, there's obviously a few things both sides could have done a little bit differently. I think Leaf probably could have made it a little bit tidier. Uh, but uh, yeah, he was trying to do that move with the MCV. And I don't think it was appropriate. I think he should have tried to protect his APC get some mantis up and get more infantry out but uh, yeah he had beam if obviously is very powerful to deal with and uh, unleash managed to whittle it down because you think the beam uh, the beam if moved all the way around the map and it got shot up the whole time until that major engagement at the bottom but yeah pretty even look at the economy uh, almost dead even there unleashed actually getting a little bit more than master leaf in the end there he did have spikes 147,000 154,000 so there you go he got about four five six seven thousand more than him which is insignificant in an 18 minute game 18.14 minute game it's, it's insignificant that economy never was really far ahead but you can see the units here uh, that was a really good game. I really did enjoy that. So uh, anyway, stay tuned to my channel. Don't forget to check out Kane's Wrath online for the Command League. Don't forget to sign up. I'm Green Zero. Stick to my channel, and I'll have some more Kane's Wrath coming up for you as soon as possible.